Hi everyone. Hi. We're back in the United States. Had a great time in the Philippines. Had a few issues. Yeah. Our original plan we were gonna spend one night. I was gonna get a feel of being at Annabelle's parents' house yeah. for one night, and then we were gonna move to a condo. Well, we did a condo. We've had great luck with Airbnb in the past, but not this time. I said, give me my money back. And we did end up getting it back. Yeah, because you know, that pool is so dirty. They are cleaning, like, I don't know the dirt to know if, like, we are moving or not. <laughs> yeah, so we ended up moving out. And you'll see a couple pictures of um, some of our complaints. Ended up staying, yeah. So 16, 16 days. Most of them, if they're in Manila, we did spend a, a weekend away in Leyte. Um, but staying there was great. Yeah, because my parents wanted to stay. My husband stayed there. If like he liked, and then I asked to him if like he wanted to stay, and then he said. I'd give it a try. <laughs> they were they seemed excited that we were staying yeah, there. Yeah, excited. Yeah. So so we tried it, but it, there was a few things that I had to get used to staying there, right? <laughs> and so that's what we're going to talk about on this video. Um, we had a great time, but some of the things an American might have to deal with staying at at their house. The bathroom. Well, that was a big issue, right? Yeah, no shower. <laughs> well, we, we, yeah, we took showers every day, but what, what, what's the panel called? Tabo. A tabo. We had to use the tabo, and you're gonna see a little bit from our first shower, and you'll see I don't know what I'm doing. I have all my clothes on, and I have to take all my clothes off there. A few days later, I get a little bit more into it, and I know to not take all my clothes into the shower and, and have to get undressed in there. Yeah, it is like a naked <laughs> Yeah, so you have to kind of go there. So, got real comfortable walking around the house with just a towel on after a while. Yeah, it didn't like so teeny. And you'll see right next to the shower, the toilet. So, well, I don't want to talk a lot about going number two, but it, it's a lot different there. <laughs> And uh, toilet paper, if you're going to use a public bathroom, a lot of the toilets don't come with toilet paper. You have to bring your own, right? Yeah. So in the next scene, we'll just show you the, the, the shower we used and the toilet. It's right there um, for the two weeks while we were in the bathroom. I don't know. Soaked. I don't want to wear these pants again. Huh? You want to wear, you want to wear them again? These blue jeans ain't another day, yeah. Okay, you... Yeah, I just got to take them off. What's up with them? They got a lot of them. Can oh you pull? Can you pull? No, no, man, so it doesn't get in the water. Oh, there's a lock right there. Okay. <laughs> we got the lock. I can show you. Can you show me? Oh, oh, okay. It's still here, same. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm here. It's big, right? Yeah. And then the big sauce. We like here, the, we just, we are saying that. Oh, yeah, that's right. Not complete, they say it's like, not sweet. I think so. Another big change when we were in the Manila was transportation. Our main way of getting anywhere was actually walking. 
and we were in a car to and from the airport yeah. where we did Uber there. Yeah, the Uber Uber driver. Yeah, he's an Uber driver. <coughs> yeah, he happened to be a neighbor, so we. Yeah, because I'm not talking to my. I'm not talking. I'm not asked to my mom like, you know, this is the Uber or what. My mom only like my mom say is the neighbor. That's yeah. why. That's it, like I know. <laughs> yeah. And then my husband don't know because they talk each other. Yeah, well, I was at the front seat while all the girls were in the back talking. Yeah. We had 20 Filipino girls in the back seat talking <laughs> with the luggage. <laughs> with luggage. <laughs> yeah, it was something. Yeah. But transportation, other than the Uber driver, basically it was either walking, um, jeepney, jeepney and, and tricycle. Tricycle, motorcycle. Um, well, we're going to show you a video right now of what it's like to be on a tricycle. And it, it's just a little different. It, <laughs> you know, all the safe issues that we have here. You know, we have our baby in a car seat. And, you know, I was, oh, do we turn it forward or back? I want yeah. it back. <laughs> all this stuff, safer. All that's out the window. Uh, Liliana's on motorcycles in front. Um, oh, wow. It's different. <laughs> it's different. <laughs> so, well, here's what it's like to be on a tricycle. If you have not been in the Philippines, you will be a little shocked at the driving. It's <laughs> quite different than the United States. Rules are suggestions. These little lines don't really mean a lot. <laughs> and even uh, on the way here, we went uh, different, you know, directions than where we were going. And with the price, though, they're so small, you can get within inches of the car in front of you. And um, they go on sidewalks. And so you'll probably see us go on some sidewalks. Yeah, yeah. 
You yeah. didn't touch that. <laughs> yeah. We have a slight height difference here. <laughs> Over on foot. <laughs> um, but also when we were in the vehicles, you know, either the, in the uh, jeepney, my legs would go across the aisle. We were in the tricycle, my head would be touching the bottom. And I. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's why I'm scared, like, you know, I'm jumping. Yeah, Ouch. yeah, because it was right, you know, touching, and so boom, it bang. And then, really, you, I think you were at a height where you could see where we were going. Yeah, I saw But the roof came down like this, and so I was so high, I, I, to, like to look, I had to bend down. <laughs> and then getting out of the jeepney, um was like unfolding. <laughs> to get out of there. <laughs> so it was quite but even with all these like hardships, it was a great time. We had a maybe um, in spite of those, maybe because of them we were so close to everyone, we just felt so close to everyone and had a great time. Her family, um, especially your mom, just helped me out all the time. And then one of your brothers let us use your bed, like I said. And then your oldest brother, who had always been so shy, like the first time I met him. I, I didn't even know he was there for days the first time I met him, the first time I was in the Philippines. This time he was so friendly. And, uh, oh, yeah, he was, he was grabbing my hand and crying. And, and, might have been the red, red horse talking. <laughs> it was so nice, all the family was there. And then your sister, you know, we had a lot of fun with her, yeah. and your nephews. We took Raven out to Jolly Bees, and, and then the little ones, they got along with Liliana. 